Welcome everyone. Today we're going to dive into Google's newly launched AI captioning service. We'll start from a new Google Cloud project and journey over to the Vertex AI page and activate the suggested APIs. After the APIs are all set, we'll leverage the model discovery features and the model garden to track down the AI captioning service. From both proprietary to open source models, we've got lots of options to choose from here. We'll take a moment to explore our captioning models page. Here, we have some helpful getting started, usage, use case, and release information. To further highlight this model, let's visit the Generative AI Studio for vision and test out the captioning via a browser-based interface. This is a very convenient and user-friendly approach for generating a caption. However, for running production AI applications and pipelines, the UI has limited utility and will need an API-based approach. Revisiting the model card that we were peeking at earlier, let's dive deeper to see example API code. The only major hurdle in preparing our API request is the need for base64 image encoding. This is a small processing step and can be easily done in a bash shell. For convenience, let's run this bash in the cloud shell, accessed from the terminal icon in the top right of the console. While you're more than welcome to use your local IDE environment, this approach provides a handy way to experiment with these APIs without significant CLI installation, Python package setup, or authentication work. Next up, we'll upload our test image. Then we'll encode our image to base64 and prepare a JSON request file. Crafting a request file using only the bash shell would be a bit clunky, but fear not, we'll use the cloud shell editor to easily format the JSON file. We'll start with the documented example request and substitute all new lines with a new line character using regex. Our trusty JQ utility will confirm the JSON structure. Before submitting this request, we'll update the project value in the post commands URI path. When this is all done, our image finally gets an AI model prediction, our image caption. We'll also take this opportunity to show multilingual capabilities. For example, we'll generate our next caption in German. The only other configuration knob is around sample sizes. Adjust your response count variable to get more generated captions. Manually building this JSON gave us a simple example, but in real world applications, you'll typically integrate this into a data pipeline, ML pipeline, or script. We hope you found this introduction helpful. As always, thank you for tuning in and please enjoy responsibly.